Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to be winging this, so um, I've never done this kind of thing before. Um, I have been asked by Bear Woods Supply to um, demonstrate and test a power carving starter kit. Uh, this kit can be had for like under $260. Um, so I am going to uh, run it through its paces. See what, see what we got first and then run it through its paces. So we'll just kind of open this baby up and see what we got. Supposedly, whoops, there's the carving machine and I think There are some bits, the little starter kitter bits. Oh, it's packed really well. That's nice. That's really nice. And let me just take this out and put it over here for a second. Because I need to unpack one more thing. Holy yeah. And here is our, oh, let me get this out of the way. Ah, here's our bit kit. So anyway, um, let's just start and see what we've got for bits in our starter kit. Hi, Laurie. Oh, this is kind of an interest. Oh, ooh, that's interesting. Um, it looks like a place to hold your bits while you're using them because you see this right here is where I store everything. And let me come down. That right there <laughs> is where I put everything that I use. So it might be nice. Yeah, it might be nice to have something that I can just organize these with instead of having to instead of having to, and I'm not going to put them all in there but let me get this in here right here let me get this in here I'm not going to put them all in here but I'll, I'll put a few in here just to kind of I think I'm going to like this yeah is I don't have such a big mess going on here yeah, this is great. Awesome. Beautiful. Good job, Bear Woods. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Perry. And I know what we got in the kit. I know. I know. I'm prolonging. I am prolonging the reveal. All right. This is the... Well, it's backwards. I'm sorry, but that was the only way I can. <laughs> it's the only way I can read the comments. Um, so anyway, um, let's open it up. See what we got. Lo oh my goodness, lots of sanding dust. I like this. I like what they've done here with telling you what you've got. Um, these little guys here. These little. Say, oh, let me get it in focus here. Focus. Where am I? These little sanding bits right here, uh, or I mean uh, sanding wheels right here, are just awesome. I use these all the time. Um, I use them for, yeah, and I can't get it in the camera. Let me get it in the camera there. I use them for um, taking off fuzzies and um, cleaning up areas. I think we've got, what do we got? We've got a three quarter, three quarter inch grit, 80 grit, okay, and a 220 grit. And I've also got some more um, that I've got on my own. Um, hi, Bob, that um, go down into microns. So you can really get some good, some good, uh, sanding fine sanding done without um you know really taking your detail off 
Um, you know, you can clean up your burning with these, with the finer ones, you can clean up your burning. Um, and what do we got? Oh, we got some carbon drums. Let me put these down. We've got some carbon drums, and it looks like we've got the mandrel to put them on. That's awesome. That is pretty cool. All right. So we've got, what do we got here? Um, three eighths coarse, three eighths medium, and three eighths fine. And the sanding drum, or I mean the drum. The, it's kind of a cushioned rubber drum that it fits over. Um, what else we got? Ah, this little beauty. Let me get in focus, there you go. This little beauty is for these sanding wheels. Now we can put, um, oops, what did I just do? Live TV, I just lost my screw. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. I found it. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> just pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Um, it has a little washer. I'm going to drop this again. Has a little washer, and this thing, if you can see, has some major threads. So it is going to hold these burrs on very tightly. And I, you know, sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two, you can use three, I mean, as many as you want. But really, all you do is make sure that if you use more than one, that you put them on so that the bristles are going in the same direction because otherwise, where am I at? Otherwise, we're not going to do any good. So I've got two on here. All right, you know, it's hard to find this on this. It's two on here, just like that, so that the bristles are going the same direction. And then you just take this, screw it right, uh, yeah, see, I'm just clumsy today. <laughs> oh my God, this is too funny. This is too funny. So anyway, it just screws in, okay? We're just screwing that baby in. And now we're mounted up. Now we're mounted up, okay. So anyway, and then it comes with various um, sanding discs, uh, different different grits of sanding discs. Um, we've got a split mandrel cone, and we've got a split mandrel cylinder. Now these I love um, because what I do with them is let me get um, a piece of sandpaper out here. What I like to do. is these are just great for like, you know, I mean, you can use any grit, but I like the Swiss sanding paper. Not sure what kind of sanding cloth that Bear Wood supplies, but I know that they're planning on supplying something. So anyway, all you gotta do is just roll it on there. And then I take these little, they're little baby, like almost braces, rubber bands. Um, but you can get them like at a drugstore. They're really kind of like hair ties. Um, yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, you can, Bob. And I've done that too. Um... Bob was just telling me that you could make these out, the, the sanding burrs. And I'm just taking this and wrapping this. You can take the sanding burrs and um, instead of using these bits here, you can make your own out of scotch Bright pads. And I've done that before. Um, square ones and round ones and whatever it is I need in different sizes. 
But anyway, so I just cut the top off of that. Um, sometimes I will put a little super glue right in here so that I have a little super glue right in there so that I will have, um, you know, I'm not flapping all over the place. And I always leave just a touch outside of the um, mandrel itself so that um, I don't take the chance of wearing this down and getting into my wood. So anyway, that is, okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, we've got a, looks like we've got this carbide. So this stuff is, and I'm rough on my tools. So I needed another one of these. Um, these things are just tough. This is carbide fluted cutter that they send and a carbide fluted ball. Um, I've got both of these um, in my own in my own set, but these are really, really handy to have and I'll show you how they work um, when we get started. Okay, so here, here's what we're after, right? Let's see, let me get this camera down here. Let me adjust it. <laughs> Perry, what Bob said. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways to get. There's a lot of ways to get to where you want to go. Um, but sometimes I just find those sanding uh, discs just handier. Because I don't have to take off um, the time to make them. I'm, sometimes I just get lazy, but there they are. All right, so we have a user manual. Yay, <laughs> training manual. We all need one of those. When all else fails, go to the training manual. All right, so here's how it comes. Let me get the Osprey out of the way. Here's how it comes all boxed up. So we will slowly, oh, that, that's cool. That's cool. It is a The holder for our our micro motor plus another holder for our handpiece. Pretty cool. And what do we have here? Oh my gosh! Foot control. Now I know a lot of you like foot control. Um, I like foot control on my big hoggers, you know, my, my, um, boredom and my wee chair. And, um, uh, I've never really tried it out actually on one of these little guys. So we're going to do that. Um, here is the motor itself. And it has got, oh, how cool. Blue holes for more things that you use a lot. I like that. I like that. That's handy. Okay. So we've got that. Um, okay, there's where we plug our handpiece in. Good enough. On off switch. Oh, we go left and we go right. We like that. Always multi-directional. Um, bring one on camera. What did I not bring on camera? Stanley? Gary? What did I not bring on camera? Can't see. All right. Um, okay, so we've got our right and our left. And then we've got our hand control and our foot control. This is the hand. This is the foot. This is awesome. Okay, so where's the hole? For, oh, there it is, for the foot control. And I will just take this apart and it'll be off camera a bit. All right. So let's just take this baby out. Let's just take the box away. And we've got one more thing to unbox. And I'm sure it's the hand piece. But I want to plug this thing in first to get all this stuff out of my way. So. Oh, 
Um, the max RPM on this particular unit is 33,000. Um, this is the this is a starter unit, and you can get it for I think they price it out at 174 dollars or so. Okay, just a minute. Excuse me, I've got to come in here and plug that Hummer in. Okay. Um, so they start right around 174, um, and um, just remember that this is a um, you know this is a starter kit. Okay, so we've got our bit changers, and of course, our handpiece. Well, feels pretty hefty. So let's just plug this baby in. If I can get it in the right spot. So is there an adapter in there somewhere? Okay, what have I done? There we go. So, let's see how this thing chucks. Um, never used this before, so. Ah, oh, cool! Okay, it's right here. You just turn it till you feel it click. And now yeah, I've got other tools here too, but we'll use theirs. Loosen up that chuck. Wow, well, that's kind of an unusual thing there. I don't know. Not something I'm used to using. But it looks like it comes, there we go. There we go. Looks like it comes with um, an adjustable collet, you know, that you can come in and out because we have different size, we have different sized um, burrs and bits. So, um, we've got speed control here. Um, I don't know if you can, can you see this? Yeah. See, everything is... There we go. You've got your speed control here, and it is done by... Um, if you want to work it by hand, it is done just like that. Just by your wheel. Um, let's find the place for the bit holder. Ah, it's kind of... All right, like I said, this is new to me. Not our bit holder, our... Oh, there it is. Okay, you see what I just did there? Okay, we've got that. We've got that. And it just fits in there like that. And the handpiece can fit in here. Or we've got this handy little thing right here. And it'll fit right here. So I like that. I'm going to use that. Um, let me turn it on. Now, let's grab a piece of wood first. Grab a piece of wood. Just a piece of scrap tube below. Um, they sell most of the bits that I have um, separately. Um, so I am going to demonstrate with what I'm comfortable using um, and just show you how well that this thing can hog wood. Um, hi, Henry. You don't screw it up. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I've got everybody. All right. I was just taking a little bit of time to... Okay, where is my handpiece? Hmm, this is interesting. Did I miss it? Ah, oh, bushings, extra bushings. Now, isn't that cool? 
Okay, um, hmm, don't know if I have that eighth inch collet in there or not. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if I can get my tools in here or not. Let's just grab one. Let's just grab one. It's got a big, like we're hogging off wood. Like we're hogging off wood. Well, let me just grab another one there. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry, guys. This is crazy. Um, this is all new to me. And I don't have the collet. I don't see the collet. loosen this thing up a little bit. So we will just do this with a big, let's do it with a big hogger. Something that's got, something that's got some, there we go. Something I don't know if they sell these there, but this is kind of a, it's a fine cutter. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to go to the catalog and look. And yeah, it's gunked up, but there's a reason for it being gunked up. What you never, ever, 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 ever want to do is use a high speed when you're working on... Um, anything with epoxy or anything with wood putty because the high speed melts it and it melts it into the grit makes it you know really nice really nice to work with um, so then you got to take all that off use a low speed and you are not going to um, you're not going to get that as much okay so let's just listen to this thing it's on turn it on That's as loud as it gets, folks. That's pretty awesome. Can hardly even hear it. Hey, Bill. So, that was, let's go with the foot control. Okay, higher speed. Full speed. It's as loud as it gets. I like that. I like that. But you know, I'm still used to a hand control. So, let's just see what this thing does. Turn it up all the way. Let's get some torque on this thing. Yeah, it hogs off the wood pretty darn good. Almost. I tend to push hard. was dusty. Backwards. I like that. You can do it on on the fly. You can do it on the fly. Um, let's see what we have got here. Let's try to, try to show you what we do with the sanding. I know that there has to be there has to be another collet in there. Yeah, well, let's use our new little thing. Okay, yeah. And that, I think, is going to be too, yep, too small. It does come 
what to call it, I promise. Mm. Let's see what we can do with these sandings. Okay, now you don't really want to go high speed with these sanding draw or with these sanding discs, as you know. Um, uh, they wear down, and so I use them at a fairly low speed. Let's turn it on. All right. And really, all it's good, you know, the, this doesn't, this isn't for final sanding. This isn't, you know, it's to take the fuzzies off, if you can see the fuzzies. Tupelo doesn't have a lot of fuzzies. But if you were to finish this, basically, and it's a light touch, it, you know, use a really light touch on this. Um, otherwise, it will carve, as you can let me get it over here. Maybe it's better this way. Yeah, see, so it will carve if you push too hard. So just a really super light touch because this is 80 grit sanding wheel. Like I say, I've got I've got it down into the microns where it just you know I can clean up my clean up my wood um, burning. It's basically really all I use these for. Um, or to get into some really tight spots. To get into some really, really tight spots if I'm carving. Um, don't have one I can show you right now. Uh, the Osprey's carved and getting ready to paint. So what I plan on doing um, is a um, project on this. Um, we've got a commission coming up. I don't know if I'm going to just do a miniature bluebird just for the heck of doing a miniature bluebird or if I am going to work on my next commission, which is an iiwi, a Hawaiian honey creeper sort of bird. But either way, either way, I'm going to do the entire project with this machine and, um, you know, their bits they gave me, their stuff, and a few of my own. Um, you can go to the link on my website. Uh, I am sponsored by these guys, uh, Bear Woods. I just had to give you that for full disclosure. Um, and so I will be using their products quite a bit uh, to um, get the word out there that they're, you know, coming into power carving. And they're coming in pretty darn inexpensively and I'm pretty impressed with this machine. Um, the way it was taken off wood with with that bit So anyway, um Yeah, we're gonna do a full we're gonna do a full project with just this and my bits and things and I will be broadcasting that live um, You know as I go along as I go along I mean, it's not gonna be you know hours and hours and hours of a marathon carving session, but you know, I'll be going on maybe two, three times a week and showing you the progress and what I've been doing. Um, next though, I have a good surprise is I am going to unbox the bandsaw that, um, they sent me the Pegas, I think is how you say that. Um, and it's a kind of a hybrid bandsaw scroll saw. It's 14 inches. It's big. It's heavy. I'm going to need some testosterone to um, help me unbox it. Because <laughs> I'm only five foot two, and I don't weigh that much. And, yeah, it's, you know, getting it out of the box is going to be a little hard. So, anyway, um, that's it for this. And, like I say, you can use that link that I gave you is an affiliate link. And yes, I do get commissions when I sell things. So I would appreciate it if you would use our affiliate link. Take a look at the website. They've got all kinds of stuff, not just for bird carvers. Um, they've got scroll saw. They've got um, marquetry. Uh, mar Is that how you say that? Marquetry? Um, you know, clock pieces. I mean, they're just... Um, they're just a good all-around company, and they've got a little bit of everything. Um, they've got some of these. They've got 
some of these, um, and you'll just have to scroll down on that link, but these are the fluted cutters um, that they have. And, or not fluted, these are cross cut. My bad, that's yeah, a cross cut. I don't know if you can see that. Look, can I get that in there any closer? Can I? Don't think so. But I think we all know what a cross cut looks like, anyway. Um, and they've got various shapes and sizes. Um, here's another type of cross cut. Fluted. They've got some fluted cutters. These are directional, um, so you know they take the wood off pretty fast and. Don't leave a lot of sanding work to be done. Um, so if you see, you know, want to pick up some of those, they've got some diamonds, um, selection of diamonds, and, um, you know, everything really to get you started. Um, I would suggest the starter kit, you know, with the different, with the different types of sandpapers. Um, but I would also recommend that you get some of these these carvers to take the wood off a little bit faster. Um, the sander is great. I do a lot of carving now with my sander, actually, um, both on my big birds and my small birds. Uh, but for less than $260, I think it's what, $259.50, you can get this. And you can get this. And Spend a little extra, a little extra more, and get your um, different carving bits and things. So you could get started for well under, you know, three hundred bucks if you want to spend a little more. Maybe go up to three fifty if you want to buy some of their burrs and bits. So anyway, that was my quick demonstration. I did that on the fly. You knew just as much about this as I did when I first started. So anyway. Namaste for tuning in, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.